Hello there ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see here I managed to get TWRP working and root and everything is working. There's no issues with uh, Wi-Fi not working and everything. So I'll show you how that's done now. So if you already have rooted your phone uh, you need to unroot it basically, you need to restore the stock boot image. So if you followed my routing guide before, you should be able to, you should know how to do this. Basically just download your firmware. My one is the latest one here, the 9.10.64. Then once you downloaded it, uh, extract it and copy the payload.bin into payload.dumper and then run and then run this command here python payload dumper py payload.bin and it, it will output a bunch of stuff wait for it till it's done and then after it's done in the output folder you should have a boot image here so copy this boot image into where you have your platform tools. So from the last video, you should have this. Copy it into inside here. And then open PowerShell window here again. And what you want to do is enable ADB on your phone. So check if, if your phone is here. As you can see, my phone is here. If your phone is not there, go into system settings, uh, developer options, and then ADB and check that. And then once you're here, you need to reboot into the bootloader. So that's with this ADB reboot bootloader. Now you're on your phone, you should see this. Right now you're inside your bootloader. And if we go back to the screen, you should be able to check if this is working by running fast boot devices. And if you see any output here like this, that means it's all good and we can proceed to the next step. So the next step is to flash the boot image. So make sure it is inside your folder where your ADB executable is. And this is the stock boot image, not the Magisk patched boot image that we used earlier on or in my last video. So flash this. When it's done, the output should look like this. And then what you want to do is run ADB reboot bootloader again, or I mean fast boot. and then wait for your phone to be back at this stage again. And you wanna flash it again. This is because uh, phones these days, they have like two AB slots. I'm not really sure how that works, but basically you need to like flash the boot image twice. All right, and once that's done, you can reboot your device. So fast boot reboot. All right, so once we're back here again, we can go into our Magisk app. If you don't have this, just install it. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. And as you can see, Magic Magisk is not installed. This is what we want. And then what you want to do is reboot again. This is just to check if the other uh, partition is working. All right, as you can see, we booted up fine. Go into settings, magic is still not there. So now we should be at the stage where everyone is at. So if you haven't rooted your phone, uh, you should be at this stage as, as well. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is you want to disable your, uh, so screen lock, set it to none. 
and then make sure you don't have any fingerprints registered as well. This just makes um, installation of TWP easier. Make sure your uh, bootloader is unlocked. If you don't know how to unlock it, uh, watch my last uh, routing guide. So just follow along where you, where you unlock the bootloader, but don't do anything after that. And another thing is we should be using the side port for this. I forgot to mention that at the start. So don't use the one down here, use this one because this one won't work for fast boot. And so after all that's done, uh, make sure you back up your data and I'll show you where to get the TWRP images and stuff. So there is a mega link here. Uh, if you're curious where I found this, it's actually on uh, Telegram, uh, this chat here. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, most of the stuff here is in uh, a different language, but that's grand because like you can just Google translate everything and it works pretty good. So from here, you just want the last two images. So go down here and um, click here. Sometimes this doesn't work, so I have to click it twice. Then just click standard download. And this usually takes quite a while. And you wanna click the same thing, standard download here. So I'm just gonna cancel this. All right, so once you have those two downloaded, uh, copy them over to your ADB folder as well. So the TWRP image and the TWRP zip image as well. And then go back to your uh, PowerShell here. And we want to reboot back into our bootloader. So you should be back here. Next, uh, check if fastboot is working again. So fastboot devices, as you can see, it shows up so we can proceed. Now what you want to do is fastboot boot TWRP image. So we're booting into this one. Uh, make sure you don't put flash here. Uh, it needs to be boot. So I'll switch over to the phone and you can see what, what goes on that one. So I'm going to click enter now. As you can see, it, it is rebooting now. And you might have to wait a while for this. And there you go, we're inside TWRP now. So for you, there might be a setting here. Um, it might come up like in a different language. So click the language and then just click English and it should be okay then. Well, for me, it's uh, came up as English by default, maybe because it's the second time I'm doing it. Uh, next, what you want to do is go into advanced here at the bottom. And then over here at the top, right click ADB side load and then swipe. And now while this is running, we can switch back to our terminal here. And now we should be able to use ADB commands. So ADB exe devices to check if it's here. And as you can see here, you should have your device name and then side loaded after that. And now what you want to do is type in ADB exe side load and then twrp.zip. So it is this file here and then press enter. Now on the computer here, there should be some, a little bit of output. Most of the output's actually on the phone. So as you can see here, there's TOP installer, and then it's gonna uh, patch boot image. 
So as you can see here is the slot A, slot B that I was talking about earlier on. That is why we needed to flash the bootloader twice basically. Alright, so once that's done, you will see done installing TWP. And on the computer, you should see a total XFER or whatever. But that's fine. And then what you want to do is reboot the system. So now your TWRP should be successfully installed. So this is just going to boot back into your OS. And I'll show you how to proceed from there. All right, so once we're back inside here, you should, you'll probably notice that if you had root before, you'll, you'll still see that magic is not installed. So for this, we need to reboot into TWP. So to do this, make sure your phone is still connected and do ADB reboot recovery since uh, TWP is basically custom recovery. And so now you should successfully reboot into TWRP. All right, as you can see, we're back in. Uh, it might take one or two minutes to boot in, but that's all right. Then to install root, go to advanced, and then go into install root, and then just swipe. Now this will actually install uh, Magisk 19.4, which is a little bit of an older version, but that's all right, because we can just update it through the Magisk app then. All right, so once that's done, uh, click Reboot System. All right, so now once we're back in, if we go over to Magisk, as you can see, Magisk's update is there. So just update that, press update, press install, and then click here, direct method, or direct install, uh, it should be in the recommended part. Then wait for that to flash. All right, so once it's flashed, click reboot. All right, so once it's restarted again, you can go back into Magisk and it'll check for updates. Yeah, and so now you should see that um, it's all up to date and we can run a safety check here as well, or a safety net check. And as you can see, everything is fine. So Google Pay, Pay and all that kind of stuff should work now. And all your root apps should work as well. So for example, I use AF Firewall a lot if we enable that. And yeah, so that works. And as you can see, uh, Wi-Fi works as well. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi there which is what uh, a lot of people are having issues with. Um, I guess they just installed it incorrectly. But yeah, so that's TWRP working on Asus Rug Phone 2. Uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.